Viva la vegan! Hello, I'm Lee Chantel from vivalavegan.net and welcome to this week's um, number two question and answer. I was sick last week and therefore I'm giving you two vegan question and answers that I'm answering for this week. This week you've got, do you think gruesome and shocking videos are effective? Um, this is a good one and a lot of people ask this actually and I'm sure you've seen much of the footage that exists where the truth of animal industries is actually right in front of you in a shocking way. It's shocking, it's unnerving, it's devastating and it's really, really sad and it can be overwhelming. I've also seen how the effects of these images and these videos can actually change people, whether it's meat your meat, earthlings, and so much undercover footage that many groups do, such as Animal Liberation here in Australia, Mercy for Animals, PETA, and many, many other animal rights welfare organisations throughout the world, and also animal sanctuaries. I do think that it's very overwhelming after seeing this footage, and I believe that by combining this footage with a call to action, or a positive or an empowering message at the end, is the best way to enact change. I spoke about this actually at Vita Vegan Con, which is a vegan bloggers conference held in Portland, Oregon in the first year, I believe, a few years ago. So I'll give you a couple of examples. One um, way is to show footage from an undercover investigation and then at the end of it, you could share like a really happy story or happy video from an animal sanctuary who's actually taken in these, these sort of animals undercover footage was about. And it's sharing a really positive story and how how what's happened here, um, the undercover footage can be something really, really um, positive to some animals. And, um, it, and with these sanctuaries, they've got a safe and a forever home away from the atrocities of the undercover footage. And whether you're sharing this information on social media or on your blog, you can share these images and footage with a call to action at the end. And something simple, like it can be, to stop this from happening, go vegan today and I can help you. I know that for myself, I didn't watch Earthlings for ages. I was already vegan, I knew all the facts, I knew the issues. But I think it's really important for animal activists and other vegans to stay on top of all these new um, videos, documentaries that are coming out. Um, and you, can, you always can learn something new if you have an open mind. I learned more about the issues and um, from Earthlings and e even though it was really, really intense viewing, um, there was people crying, there was people walking out of the cinema while it was screening, I still remember bits and pieces from this um, when I'm doing vegan advocacy or outreach one-on-one -on -one sort of stuff. So I definitely suggest that you, as a vegan, have a look at some of these things if you haven't seen them. So I guess to sum up. Um, by combining um, shocking and gruesome footage with a positive story and or a vegan call to action, this is more powerful than just the footage alone. Remember, we need people to be inspired and to get active and not simply just to be overwhelmed. So I hope that's helped and I look forward to seeing you on um, all our social media channels and on vivalavegan.net. Um, join us next week on this YouTube channel, back on Tuesdays, every Tuesday, um, for what are your tips for family-friendly vegan meals. I'll see you then.